हेलो एवरीवन सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग आवर सीरीज ऑन मिनोपोज नाउ द मिनोपोज लिटरली मींस मिनोपोज दैट मींस मेंस इज स्टॉप्ड इफ वी सी द डेफिनेशन इज अ परमानेंट कैसेशन ऑफ पीरियड्स ड्यू टू शट डाउन ऑफ ओवेरियन एक्टिविटी द डेफिनेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट when we talk about menopause that doesn't only mean that that there is a perm- uh, cessation of the periods that doesn't only mean that because menopause is a series or is a uh, composition of various symptoms due to shut down of ovarian activity and cessation of periods that means periods are stopped is one of the symptom of shut down of ovarian activity so you need to understand very well that that when we talk about menopause silently we are talking about shut down of ovarian activity and not just only cessation of the periods you will understand this concept later see it happens on an average at 45 years now what is the pathophysiology why these things happens see ovary of the female has some limited amount of oocytes or ovum that are present from the birth with the time and with the age these oocytes number goes down and down and one time is there where when any uh, no oocytes are left in the ovaries so once the all ovarian reserve is depleted there are no more oocytes now you need to understand very well that that oocytes are actually the source of estrogen progesterone and androgens so once we don't have any follicles or oocytes the levels of estrogen and progesterone goes down and this is the center part of menopause the levels of estrogen and progesterone goes down is the central part for menopause so what happens estrogen and progesterone are the source of uh, uh are, are the uh, reason why the endometrium is generated and shed every month the cyclical increase and decrease in estrogen and progesterone is responsible for endometrium to develop and then at the end of the uh, month uh, it goes shed as a menses so menopause is not just cessation of period now if there is no oocyte there is no estrogen and progesterone once there is no estrogen and progesterone there is no endometrium and that's why there are no periods so periods or a menses is a sole a sole property of endometrium okay now when there is a no estrogen and progesterone the various vasomotor symptoms develop like hot flushes my friends you very well know that the estrogen and progesterone are responsible for resorption of the bone so the bone mass is loss lost now the androgens androgens are the between products of estrogen and progesterone and androgens are the responsible for what loss uh, for uh, libido so that's why we don't have any more more amount of androgens and so that we uh, at the menopause the female loses libido now estrogen and progesterone are responsible for vagina mainly estrogen the vaginal epithelium and the acidic environment because of estrogen is lost there is a dryness of vagina 
so all these symptoms make the menopause now if there is no estrogen in progesterone then there is a loss of negative feedback to the pituitary for fsh and lh that's why fsh and lh increases my friends menopause is because of ovarian failure it's it's not because of pituitary failure pituitary is working good so fsh and lh are not decreased they actually increase because of loss of negative feedback by estrogen and progesterone now this is how a menopause thing works and this is the very basic criteria when we call it menopause thank you